right, Caleb, uh, we're nearing the end of fall camp, Southern Illinois preparation coming up in a bit, but uh, how would you summarize fall camp so far? Uh, I'll summarize it like, you know, we had we had some good work this uh, fall camp. Uh, I feel like the guys really got closer. You know, we had also went up to, uh, I think he, he, I forgot what the name of the camp was. Like, we went up there uh, this week, well, last weekend, did some, like, uh, you know, just team activity stuff, just, you know, trying to get that bond, you know, together and, like, stronger as we get getting, getting ready for the season. Uh, I feel like, you know, we did good. You know, we just been just going against each other, just pop, just hurt, like not hurting each other, but you know, just trying to get each other better each and every day. So I feel like it's been going well. What were some of those activities? Uh, we had went to the lake. They had a lake out there. Just had went boating. Um, just had they had some food out there for us. So I mean, it was pretty. It was pretty fun. Did some little, some little board games, stuff like that. Camping in the fire, just chilling, eating some s'mores, stuff like that. So good time to just bond and you know know your brothers and like stuff like that, getting closer. That's a perfect August weekend activity in Utah. Right. So congratulations, that's awesome. We all want to get to that point. Yeah. Um, who's the best hang on the team? Like when you're out as a team like that, who's the guy where you're like, I want to be by him. He's fun. Yeah. Shoot, uh, Batty, he's pretty interesting. I ain't gonna lie. He's a he's he's used to the camping lifestyle. You know, he had it was out there. He had a big old knife on his hip, so he was ready for he was ready for anything to come out there and you know attack him. But not Batty, he's a he's a good guy to be around. I guess out there, and I go against him every day. So I mean, you know, just getting closer with him as well is just you know making each other better and just you know making that bond even stronger. He's from Payson, yeah. so so he's probably got a cowboy hat and boots. He's got the yeah. knife he set on his hip, like a big knife. Yeah, it was a big big old like Bowie knife. So he was. <laughs> ready. Nah, he, he's a good guy, though. He's he good. He didn't mean no harm. He was just protecting the team, you know, protecting his brothers, you know. He did get wild out there, so we was in the middle of nowhere, but yeah, it was fun. He probably symbolically applies that to being a defensive end or something, probably. but you, okay, you talked about you go up against him all the time. You want to win all those battles, yet that's a guy that you obviously respect. What's that relationship like with a guy that you face off with every day? I mean, it's a, it's a like, it's like iron sharp and iron, you know, he's good. He's, he's bringing his tools, you know, and I'm bringing my tools, like trying to get better at, at like trying to work like work on every day so I mean he's a he's a good good competitor you know he's, he's gonna try to be gonna bring the best out of you each and every day and I'm gonna try to you know give him my best reps at, at every time so he could you know be a good pass rusher so and a run blocker you ever share tips like okay as a defensive end this would have worked on me or does he share it with you of okay no like, we don't really do all I mean even if like, we did one-on-ones he had he likes to, you know, try to do spins and stuff like that. You know, he'll just tell me what he tried to do and stuff like that. But, yeah, <laughs> like, he'll just tell me what he wanted to do if it didn't work and stuff like that. I'd be like, yeah, you, you almost had it. You almost got it, you know. But, now nah, he, he's good work, though. He almost, he got me on some good stuff. He got me on one-on-ones before, you know, we, just good competition. So, yeah. You guys have talked a lot about, hey, we were better than what we showed last year. Where do you feel like you are already better going into the season from last year's offensive line play? Yeah. I feel like I'm better, like, Far like way better than last year, you know, just in the playbook, just knowing my, what my assignment is, um, and just knowing where to go at, and just you know going out there playing fast. Uh, I feel like I was all over, you know, last year, you know, just bumping from guard, right tackle. So if I'm really like I'm set on left tackle right now, main focus. That's all I've been playing. So I've just been learning that spot position and just you know p uh, crafting every day on that. So I'm in, been doing really good and feeling good. So I'm excited. What changed against Oklahoma and Oklahoma State with this line to where you guys were really good that you think might be applicable this year? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, like Oklahoma State, you know, they, they run a really fast offense. I feel like, you know, here it's just more like, you know, pro style is more like more slower, like not too slow, but, you know, it's still, you know, where you could be able to like, you know, retain it and just go out there and just play. You don't have to worry about stressing or like trying to like confuse yourself on what to do. So I just feel like it's more slow down and understanding. So, and in those last two games last year, when the run game was way better, was there something that was uh, vastly different that you think you guys can apply in game one this year? Um, the last two games, I mean, yeah, we had we had some good stuff going in, uh, you know, for them last two games. I feel like, yeah, you just got to pick up where we left off at, you know, um, got you know got some a lot of the guys on the on the O line as you know that have that played a lot. So I mean, we all know what we could do and what we're capable of doing. Just got to go out there and just attack and just do our assignment and be physical and play fast. So. We could just open the holes and run the ball and protect, you know, whoever the starting quarterback going to be. What's that moment like when the five of you gather and obviously the skill positions come in and the quarterback and it's like you huddle up and you're about to break the huddle. What's that moment like emotionally for you as you kind of get the excitement of that yet kind of retain which play are we running? What are we doing? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's exciting, especially on our um, game day. You know, it's, you get that feeling like you get that gut feeling like, you know, you're nervous, but you're not nervous. Like it's a so like you're ready nervous, but, you know, you just 
you 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 waited for this moment, you know, so long. Like you had all this, all the grinding you did. It's finally started, you know, it's finally finna be here. Like like next week, two weeks from now. So, I mean, it's, I mean, I'm excited. You know, we all rally up in the huddle and you know say that first play. That's when it all starts. So I mean, it's a it's, it's gonna be here real soon before you know. Are you ready to move on to Southern Illinois prep and kind of finish fall camp? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm tired of just banging up and <laughs> beating on the D line, and they beating on us. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready to get the ball rolling so we can finally get get some get some good stuff going here. This is your uh, fifth year in college. You've been at three different schools. How are you going to make this uh, memorable for you so that you could be uh, an NFL draft pick type coming next year? Yeah, I'm just going to play my play my best every game. Shoot, leave my leave it all out there on the field. Shoot, I mean. Just, just I got a question. I just got, you know, this how how I want to be remembered. So I just got to go out there and ball. And don't worry about none of the other stuff. Just focus every week, like my assignment, who I'm going against, and just go out there and play fast and physical and just have a good game. And the and the biggest Caleb Etienne fan in the world might be your three year old son. I take it. Yeah, that's my uh, boy, three year old. Just turned uh, three on the thirtieth. So yeah, he's he's my he's my my junior. He's my world. He's my everything. He looks up to me. He's a goofball, so I mean, I love him to death, though. Yeah, it's my boy. What's his name? Caleb Jr. Caleb yeah. Jr. You yeah. said Jr. There you go. Oh, and I was I was told I had to ask you about uh, competition with L.J. Martin on College Football 25. Yeah, recently we just played. You know, he got BYU, I got Kansas State. Had to get you make it a little fair matchup or whatever. <laughs> and I mean, he 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 thought he could beat me, ended up not happening, and made him quit. So <laughs> maybe next time, little guy. <laughs> but yeah. Are, do you ever switch to be? The left tackle, Caleb Etienne, in the game, and you're like, I'll just block on this one. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. I'm not gonna do all that. It's, the roster's <laughs> all type of messed up on there. I just let them fix it whenever they fix it. But like, you not, saying the ratings? Yeah, not nah, not nah, the uh, positions. They got me at right guard. Oh, they have your right guard. Yeah, Come on. I mean, whenever they, I guess, if they watch the game, BYU game, hopefully they know that I'm at left tackle. So yeah. Well, Caleb, best of luck on uh, continued preparation, and thanks for the time. No problem. Appreciate it. Let's go, go Cougars.